what's happening boxing what's happening youtube and about that boxing i wasn't even going to talk about this fight but i'm gonna go ahead and talk about it because people kept asking me about it so i'm gonna go ahead this will be the last fight from the Rei series in los angeles that i'm going to cover it is going to be Jarrell Big Baby Miller versus Andy the Destroyer Ruiz. Before we go in, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notifications, and share the content. Let's go. Now, first of all, I'ma just be real with y'all. This fight didn't even matter to me. I don't know why it was on the card. Maybe they just couldn't find anything better. I mean, maybe someone just wanted Andy Ruiz to get a check. I mean, he has been having some issues in his personal life and all that. I don't know if he went through all that money. But anyway, we get a 24-month laid off Andy Ruiz. And actually, it's probably more like 23 or 22, but it's two years, okay? The man's been laid off for two years. And Jarrell Miller is talking all this trash, like what he's going to do to a man that's been off for two years. Are you serious? Now, Jarrell Miller... He's been active. He just fought in December of last year. He's been keeping himself active. Off the juice? Hopefully so. Okay? For those that don't know, this man has tested positive and been banned three times for PEDs. Not once, not twice, but three times for PEDs. Okay? So he has no respect in the boxing world. Period. That's just what it is. Was he robbed? Did he outperform Andy Ruiz? Yes. He definitively beat him. The 116-112 was very close to what the score should have been. Andy Ruiz's mouth was open by like the third round, fourth round. He was already breathing like he'd been fighting for 15 rounds. Now, granted, the man's been off for 24 months. He showed his durability and his heart. He made it through the entire 12 rounds to get a draw, a majority draw against a guy who's been remaining fresh. Now, we know that since Jarrell Big Baby Miller's been off the juice, he ain't been the same. But it looked good to see him in the ring. He was in good shape for Jarrell Miller. He chased Andy Ruiz around the ring over and over, basically just following him for several rounds, though. And I'm trying to figure out why he wasn't just throwing them hands. Maybe some of those few little connects that Andy Ruiz was getting, maybe they were doing something to Jarrell Miller to keep him from just going in and just all out destroying him. Or maybe he just didn't feel he had the power to do so. I don't know. But he was throwing some hell of a good combinations in the latter rounds. Jarrell Miller just kind of pretty much took over the fight. Andy Ruiz had about two, three okay moments in the fight. He had one decent you know, hit, but he had gotten stunned at least one or two times. Come to find out, Andy Ruiz had broke his hand. Uh, I believe it was his right hand. And you could see the bone poking out of it. He wasn't trying to make excuses, but it was just real. I mean, he the man was fighting with one hand at a certain point. So, you know, Jarrell Miller gets the draw. I just feel that cheaters never win. And this is a prime example of cheaters not winning. The judges don't respect him. That's what this is showing. Um, people are unsure if he's on the juice or not. Did he test before this fight? I don't know. I have no idea. But he has failed three times and gotten banned three times. So now you get to be on the other end of the cheat stick, bro. That's all this is. Now you get to see how all those guys you fought and cheated against it, you didn't get caught against. You get to feel how they feel now. Once they found out that you was cheating, they felt robbed. So that's just what it is. You get to feel what it is to be on the other side of the cheat card, bro. So suck it up. I would just do something else with my life. Boxing does not love you. Um, the judges are not going to be fair with you because you cheated too many times. You've lost too much respect in the game. You're 36 years old. Go do something else. Uh, see if you can get into wrestling. Do something else. You know, you still are, you know, you still have a little name for yourself. Just try to use the name that you got, man. But boxing is not it. I don't see them giving you no big opportunities. And if you do get the opportunity to go against Anthony Joshua, are you kidding me, man? You are not going to be, he's going to destroy you. You know, you, you didn't show enough initiative in this fight. 
you know now i don't uh, uh, approve of anyone being cheated period but when you've cheated as much as this man has it just doesn't matter at this point for him in particular you know but fair is fair he should have got his w fair is fair we gonna say that he should have got his w but i'm just telling you why he didn't they dangled a carrot in front of this man they really was hoping andy ruiz would come in in a spectacular shape and decimate jerrell miller that's what they were hoping but andy ruiz came up he was just a big doughy punching bag for the majority of this fight he was available to be hit at will and there were times like i said where jerrell miller looked exciting and he was throwing combinations and he was trying to steal the ends of the rounds and he didn't really have to do that he could have just beat this dude the whole entire fight if he was in good shape so you know he shouldn't have left it up to the judges knowing his reputation in the sport right now you know ever since the cheats and getting banned all those times he should know his reputation is going to give him the need to have to knock out his opponents he can't leave it to the judges period anyway that's really all i got to say about this one man y'all let me know what y'all thought about jarrell miller versus andy ruiz like i said i don't think this fight means anything I think they could have put something better on the car, but they maybe just couldn't find anybody at the moment. I don't know. Anyway, I'll be back with another one. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit them notifications and share the content. I'll be back with another one. And about that boxing.